Let's talk about decile. Deciles divides data into 10 equal parts. So this is the formula for finding the decile, where i is equal to 1, 2, 3, up to 9. This is stands for decile 1, decile 2, decile 3, up to decile 9. N is the number of samples. Let's have this example number one. Find the decile tree of the following set of data. So the first thing that you need to do is to arrange the data in ascending order. Next, so this is the formula for finding the decile. So since we are looking for the decile tree, our i is 3. So that is now d sub 3 is equal to 3 times, so we have 15 number of samples plus 1 over 10. So 15 plus 1 is 16 times 3, that is 48 over 10. So 48 over 10, decile 3 is 4.8. Decile 3 is equal to 4.8. So meaning, decile 3 is the 4.8 data. So where is that? So that is between 6 and 7. So it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 4.8 data. So that is between the fourth data and the fifth data. To find decile 3, that is now the fourth data plus 0.8, this times the fifth data minus the fourth data. So that is now equal to the fourth data is 6 plus 0.8 times we have the fifth data that is 7 minus 6. So 7 minus 6 times 0.8 plus 6 is 6.8. Therefore, the decile tree is 6.8. So let's have this example number two. Find the decile five of the following set of data. So again, arrange the data in ascending order. So we are looking for the decile 5. So meaning our i is 5. So that is now d sub 5 is equal to 5 times 15. We have 15 number of samples plus 1 over 10. So 15 plus 1 is 16 times 5 is 80. 80 divided by 10 is 8. So meaning the decile 5 is the 8 data. So where is that? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And decile 5 is 10. Now let's have this example number 3. Find the decile 7 of the following set of data. Again, do not forget to arrange that in ascending order. So we are looking for the decile 7, so meaning our i is 7. So that is now d sub 7 is equal to 7 times we have 15, that is the number of samples that we have, plus 1 over 10. So 15 plus 1 is 16 times 7, that is 112 over 10. So 112 divided by 10 is 11.2. So let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that is between 13 and 14. This is the 11th data. So we have an excess of 0.2, so that is between 13 and 14, between the 11th data and the 12th data. So the decile 7 is equal to the 11th data plus we have the 0.2 times we have the 12th data minus the 11th data. So 11th data is 13 plus we have this 0.2 times, so 14 minus 13 times 0.2 plus 13 is 13.2. So meaning that the cell 7 is 13.2. Thank you.